Yo, what's up, people? What's up? What's up? What's up? This is Tiario, and I am back, y'all, with another video and another eye-opening and serious message concerning the satanic rapper Jay-Z. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. In this message right here, this message is for all of, of you Jay-Z fans. For all of you Jay-Z fans, this message is for you. Because you need to know what you are following. Okay? And I'm going to open up your eyes and talk to you about some pretty creepy, sick, satanic stuff that you need to know. Because you are a Jay-Z follower. Okay? You follow Jay-Z. You like his music. And you don't even have a clue of what you are following. But in this message, you're about to find out what you are following. Okay. First thing first, I want to say this right quick. Because I'm just going to get straight to it. First thing first, I want to say this. For all of you people who look up to celebrities. And you follow celebrities. Okay. Have you ever asked yourselves who are the celebrities looking up to? Who are they following? Because they are not following other celebrities. And they are not looking up to other celebrities. So have you ever asked yourselves this question? Okay. We know you look up to celebrities. We know you watch their reality TV shows. And, and we know you follow them. And we know you buy their music and all of this stuff. Right? But have you ever just sat back and questioned and asked yourself? Well, if we are following the celebrities... Who are the celebrities are following? Oh man. Well, I'm very, very glad that you asked because the celebrity that you people are following named Jay Z, the satanic rapper from hell, I'm going to open up your eyes to who he is following, who he looks up to, who he idolizes. Who he worships and, and, and who he wants to be like. Because you got to understand this. Jay-Z is not looking up to other rappers. Jay-Z is not looking up to, you know, other celebrities. He's looking up to someone who is in the occult. Okay. And this guy is a straight Satanist. And his name is Arista Crowley. Arista Crowley, people. I'm going to give you the lowdown on this man right here. Arista Crowley. This is the guy who Jay-Z worships. This is the guy who Jay-Z follows. And this is the guy who Jay-Z looks up to and idolizes. Arista Crowley. Okay. Arista Crowley was born in 1875. And he died in 1947. He comes from England. Jay-Z is looking up to a straight Satanist that come way from England. And here it is. You people don't even have a clue of this information, man. Seriously. That's right. You folk better wake up, man. I'm going to give you the lowdown on, on Arista Crowley. Because understand this. For everybody who is following Jay-Z, they are not just following Jay-Z. They are following Arista Crowley because Jay-Z have Arista Crowley spirit all in him because Jay-Z worships this guy, man. This is who Jay-Z idolizes. This is where Jay-Z got all of his witchcraft and Illuminati and devil worship. He got all of that from Arista Crowley. That's right. He got it all from Arista Crowley. That's right. All the Illuminati symbols and signs that you people see Jay-Z following and doing and worshiping because he's a Freemason. Jay-Z got all of this from Arista Crowley. Jay-Z looks up to this guy, man. This 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 Arista Crowley guy is a is is is, is a real Satanist, man. He's a real sick Satanist, man. Okay? That's right. And also Arista Crowley was also a book author, meaning he wrote books on the occult and black magic and witchcraft and all of that stuff. And Jay-Z has his books. Jay-Z looks up to this guy, man. That's right, folks. Now, folks. I already know you, 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 uh, uh, I mean, you Jay-Z fans, you, you people who like him. I know you feel stupid now. That's right. That's right. 
because you had, because you had no clue on who taught him all that stuff he's doing, all the Illuminati stuff he's doing in the videos, the witchcraft, the the the, the sorcery, the voodoo, um, on the Jay Z going against Jesus. He's going against Jesus and all the wickedness he's doing. He is a uh, he is straight adopting the Arista Crowley spirit and goats into his soul, man. So when you look at Jay Z, you gotta understand this. You're not just looking at Jay Z. You're looking at Arista Crowley, that's in him. That's right, man. Because Jay Z worships this guy, man. That's right. And this is why they blood sacrifice people, okay, in in Hollywood because Jay Z have have done numerous blood sacrifices. Jay Z know how to put spells on folks and kill them and do the black magic and do the ritual and and blood sacrifice folks to the devil. He get all of that from Aristotle Crowley. He got all of that from Aristotle Crowley. That's who he look up. That's who he looks up to, and that's who he's following. Aristotle Crowley is a Satanist that comes from England. And I'm going to repeat it one more time. He was born 1875 and he died in 1947. Folks, you better wake up. I got all this information. This is why I, I mean, this is why, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I be looking at you people like you're crazy. Seriously, don't even have a clue of what's going on in the earth, man. Seriously, you folk better start asking yourselves these questions. Okay, if we are um, looking up to the celebrities, who are the celebrities are looking up to? You better start asking yourself that because this is some dangerous stuff, man. That's right. And many other celebrities, rappers like Rick Ross and all of these guys, they are also following Arista Crowley. That's right, because Arista Crowley was a legend in Satanism. That's right, man. He was a legend in Satanism. He was a legend in witchcraft and voodoo and sorcery and black magic, man. That's right. This brother is into the occult for real. Arista Crowley was a straight psychopath, man. Straight up, man. This is some crazy stuff, man. Seriously. And, and, and also, this is the crazy part about it. Because him and Jay-Z, they, they, they rule exactly alike. Arista Crowley... He loved women and he loved men. And that's exactly how Jay-Z rolls. Jay-Z loves men and he loves women. That's right. That's right. And if you think I'm lying about that, go look up the interview that Foxy Brown did on Jay-Z when she was exposing him. Because because Foxy Brown been around Jay-Z. And she, uh, uh, um, she was exposing him and stuff like that, man. That's right. And 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 Jay Z and Arista Crowley they roll just alike. That's right, man. It's crazy. Some crazy stuff, folks. So, folk, this is all I'm gonna say, man. I'm 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 saying this to 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 show you people how dangerous this stuff is when you people be following celebrities and you know on on, on you're following these rappers and all of this stuff. And I'm showing you people this, man, because this is very, very serious. You got to understand something. If you are looking up to a celebrity, you got to understand that that celebrity you are looking up to, they are looking up to someone else. And the people who these stars are looking up to are straight sorcerers, witches, voodoo priests, and so on, man. Seriously, because they have to learn that demonic crap that they're doing. They have to learn that from somebody. Somebody have to teach them that. Somebody have to teach Jay-Z on how to do blood sacrifice rituals to Satan. So who taught him this? Arista Crowley. That's who taught him this. Jay-Z have this guy's books, man. And you folk better wake up. This is serious. So you got to understand something. When these people step in Hollywood, okay, and they find out about the occult and how serious it is and the things that they have to do, they have to learn it from somebody. Meaning they have to start looking up to to, to well known devil worshippers who was way before their time. And and and, and this is why Jay Z follows Arista Crowley. That's right. He's still following this guy, man. That's right. That's right. And let me also open up your eyes to this stuff, man. When you see Jay Z doing these concert tours, these are not just concert tours, man. These are rituals that he have to do in order for him to Live longer for the devil. Keep getting more millions from the devil. He have to do these rituals, meaning he have to keep putting all you stupid fans into a trance and dumping 
curses on you people and spells, man. They have to do this stuff, folks. This is serious. They have to do this. So understand what so understand. When you be seeing these satanic rappers like Lil Wayne and T.I. and Rick Ross and Jay-Z and Birdman and all of these, these Nicki Minaj people. And when you be seeing these people doing these tours in these cities, they are not just going on tours, man. Okay, they are going through rituals in, in these different cities to put spells on you stupid fans, man. They have to do this stuff. They have to go through these rituals. It's kind of like they're sacrificing you. But it's just that it's just that you don't know you're being sacrificed. But yeah, you're being sacrificed. That's right. If you are a fan of a satanic celebrity, let me open up your eyes. You are being sacrificed. You are being sacrificed. They got you under the spell, man. That's right. They cursed you. You got to understand. They have to curse you to get their money from the devil. That's how that works. Let me repeat that. They have to curse you to get their money from the devil. They cannot live a good life and, 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 and get blessed by Satan. They have to do wickedness to get their millions from the devil. So what do they got to do? They have to go through these rituals and put curses and spells on you stupid fans and sacrifice you, man. That's right. That's right, man. It's the truth. They have to be with you. They have to take you into a trance. Jay-Z knows this information. This is why he's steady going. If, if you notice, Jay-Z is old as dirt. And he's steady going on tours. Have you ever asked yourself that? Why he can't just sit still with all that money he got? Why he can't just relax in his home and just let it go? Why he can't let it go? Have you ever questioned that? Why can't they just let it go? They can't let it go because they got someone next to them named Satan. And Satan, the deal that they make with Satan is they got to keep going. They got to keep going, man. And folks, this is some scary, dangerous stuff, man. Folks, you better wake up. Understand this, man. When you see a celebrity with all this money, with all these billions of dollars that they have, because Jay-Z, he have over a billion dollars. When you see a celebrity and they have over a billion freaking dollars, and they steady doing tours, they steady doing albums, and you're looking at it like, ain't you rich? Ain't you supposed to just be sitting back relaxing? Let me tell you, they can't sit back and relax. They have to kill more people. And how do they kill them? They kill them by the music they um, I'm giving to you people. They kill you people by these concert tours they doing. They kill you people by all of the witchcraft spells that they are putting on you fans, man. And, 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 and here it is. I'm going to uh, um, tell you people this, man. Every time you buy a demonic rap album, whether it's from Wayne, Jay-Z, Drake, Rick Ross, um, T.I., or whoever the case may be, let me tell you what they do with them albums before them albums hit the stores. They take these albums to the underground. It's a place in the underground called the Lower Chambers of Debt. Okay? They take these albums... Into the underground, okay, and they do witchcraft rituals and spells over the albums before the albums get released to the stores. They do this, folks. They do this. They have a place that's 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 built under the distribution companies. It's a place that's built under each distribution company it's called the Chambers of Debt. And what they do when the record is pressed up and when the record is finished. And when a record is mastered, they take it to the, the lower parts in the underground called the Chambers of Debt. And they put witchcraft spells over all the albums, man, before it even hits stores. And see, this is the kill the fans and have you dummies under a trance. This is why you folks are so cursed. They do this with Rihanna albums. They do this with Beyonce albums. They do Gaga albums. They do this with all of the satanic music that you see today. Before that stuff hits stores, it's going into the witches' hands, man. The witches put curses and spells over that stuff before they ship that stuff to the stores. And this is why you people be be, be trying to figure out why you so obsessed with these singers and rappers and how and, I mean, why you can't let it go because you under the spell. They got you. You under their spell, man. That's right. That's why right. you under the spell. Seriously. Just look at all of Jay Z fans, man. They know he's serving Satan and they can't let it go. Why they can't let it go? 
because they under the spell. And that's what spells do, man. That's what spells and that's what curses do. When you are under a spell, you can't let it go. And you and you know they serving the devil and you still following it. Kim Kardashian and them doing the same stuff. That's right. And you people sitting there being fools looking at the reality show, the Kardashians. Forgetting the fact that, and, and here it is, you folks don't even know the ritual that she did. Let me give you the lowdown on what Kim Kardashian did right quick, the ritual she did. She got the blood injected into her face. And that was a ritual that the vampires was doing so they can live longer for Satan. She did it already. And, and, and there are pictures of that stuff all online. She got the blood injected into her face. That was a ritual. Okay. Now, back to this Jay-Z aristocratic thing right quick, man. Folks, this is real. This ain't nothing funny about this, man. So for all of these these little teenagers and these stupid fans who following Jay Z and all of that stuff, they are really following Arista Crowley. They are really following Arista Crowley. And let me tell you who he is one more time. One more time. He is a wicked man from England. He was born 1875. And he died in 1947 and he was a well-known Satanist, devil worshiper. He was into the occult. He was into black magic. He was into witchcraft, sorcery, and voodoo. Arista Crowley, man, is a well-known devil worshiper. So for all of you people out there, every time you buy a Jay-Z record or you following that, man, you are following Arista Crowley. Because that's who Jay-Z looks up to. That's who he looks up to. He looks up to Arista Crowley. And that's the truth. Okay? That is the truth. That's what he looks up to. He looks up to Arista Crowley. Seriously, man. You folks better wake up. That's all I'm going to tell y'all, man. That's all I'm going to tell y'all. You people better wake up, man. For real. This is not a joke, man. Seriously. They take these albums. They put curses and spells on the records. They take them to... The, the, the lower parts of the underground And they do witchcraft rituals Over these records before they even hit stores That's right I know you people might might be like Well, well damn Tiario is that deep Yeah it's that deep This is why the people are under the spell So for, so, so, so for someone who may say Well Tiario uh, 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 And I'm a fan of Jay Z I'm a fan of T.I I'm a fan of Lil Wayne I'm a fan of Drake I'm a fan of these people, Tiara. You got to understand. You're a fan of them because you're under the spell. That's what the spell is designed to do. It's designed to make you a fan of something you don't and don't even have a clue of what's going on. So you're not just fans. You're under spells, man. Seriously. Can't nobody come tell me, Tiara, yo, I'm a fan of Jay-Z. I'm going to look at him and say, brother, you're under the spell. You, you, you cannot be a fan of someone who is against God. You are under the spell. You can't be a fan of T.I. That brother raps about murder and debt, man, and killing and, and, and drugs and money. How are you going to be a fan of that? You under his spell, man. Because you have no knowledge of what they do in Hollywood with these albums before they hit the stars. It's the truth, man. It's the truth. When the witches was doing witchcraft and when the witches was doing voodoo and sorcery, okay, when they wanted people to become obsessed with them, they will put curses and spells on the people. That's what your rappers and your singers are doing. This is why Lady Gaga sold so many records. This is why Rihanna and them sold so many records. Because you folks don't have a clue of what's going on in the dark. This is why Jay-Z is going to keep getting richer and richer and richer for Satan. Because, because he's sacrificing all his fans, man. He's killing them. He's putting curses on them. He's taking them out. He got them under spells. He got them hypnotized because that brother sold his soul to the enemy, man. And he looks up to and he follows Arista Crowley. That's the real truth, man. That's the truth. It ain't because he's a hot rapper. Think about it. He can't rap. Think about it. He's garbage. So how can a garbage rapper keep making all this money? Because he's following the enemy. That's how. You folk better wake up, man. You better wake up, man. That's all I'm going to tell y'all, man. Seriously. That's all I'm going to tell y'all, man. So with all of that being said, you know.